As testimony continued Friday in Wesley Coonrod's capital murder trial, a firefighter described discovering the lifeless bodies of Thomas and Stephen Coonrod face up in the closet of their burning home. Hearing the testimony, Coonrod broke down, covering his eyes with his hand and quietly sobbing. He is being tried on charges of aggravated murder in the deaths of his three and four-year-old sons. He could face the death penalty if convicted. James Thompson, a firefighter with the Paint Creek Joint Fire and Ambulance District, testified Friday he was among the first emergency personnel to arrive on the scene of the March 7th fire on Lafayette Street in Greenfield. There, it, it was still smoke out of flashlight on my ear when I opened and closed the door. It was filled with smoke, but not to the degree that the room was. So I, I could see it, and uh, I think they were just laying there face up. You actually were one Thomas's EMT? Yeah. So you were looking at him, is that correct? Correct. Can you tell the jury what, what, what did Thomas look like? Um, a dead baby. Um, he had soot on his hands, he had soot on his face, around his mouth, around his nose. How did it affect you? Um, how hasn't it? Um, the, I have a, a little boy that just turned five, and every time I look at him, I, I see their faces. Um, every time I get a quiet moment, I see their faces. Um, it it eats at you at every day. While the prosecution alleges Coonrod intentionally set the fire that killed his children, defense attorneys have said that Coonrod was a devoted single parent who loved his children. In opening statements, it was postulated that the fire could have been set by one of the boys. Testimony will resume Monday. It is anticipated the jury could begin deliberations as early as Wednesday.